Hello everybody. Just gonna do a uh, quick little review here now. I got this off of a um, kind of like nerd block, but it was more for wargaming. I forget which one it was called. Uh, I know it's not the one that's still running. This was from one that actually uh, is no longer in business. But uh, I got this stuff here from Plast... Plast sorry. Plast Craft Games. Their website address is right here. PlastCraftGames.com uh, They have a little video on there to show you how to put some detail in there. And that's for this wood up here, not the doors. Those are actually resin cast. Uh, as you can see there, there's the uh, tan colors, that resin on the big main building and then on the, this one as well is the door now this building here is complete this is the way in which it comes now I'm going to show you their website too uh, just so you have an idea of what it comes with there's a little doorway there or a window should I say not doorway um, these uh, angle pieces at the corners uh, let's see I kind of put these flush to kind of hide the seams of the building, but then it shows this here, which you could easily probably putty away or whatever you want to do with it or just leave it. That's obviously going to be up to you. But um, the way they show it in here is you're actually supposed to kind of put it off the sides and let it create. Um, create a little uh, valley or channel there. I kind of did that wrong. I haven't done this one yet. And I kind of stopped on this one because I ran out of time to get it done. I was trying to get it done to get some gaming going for me and my friends. Uh, right in here in these little windows are actually little pieces of card uh, that you were actually supposed to glue from the inside to, to that to kind of fill in that space. Well, from looking at the picture, I kind of understood it wrong. And this is the only part I've actually really had a problem with from what the picture showed me. Uh, right here, there where it shows 32, and it kind of shows the little red lines going up. It tells you that's where you're supposed to glue them. So I thought, well, maybe I'm supposed to just kind of slit them in, and they're supposed to, you know, kind of go inside as a, in a sideways slit and glue in place, but more inwards. Uh, you're that was wrong it's supposed to lay flat and glow inside so live and learn so I actually have only two more steps left I got this step here to do because I kind of skipped some steps um, and did some of the other stuff that was easy enough and then I have this bottom section here to still do uh, yeah now this is the actual setup and if you look it's not that many steps all on the right hand side are actually all the steps with all the glue points and it's pretty easy to follow um, I kind of feel like on the bigger one and on the top one, order of operation of how to glue all these things together, uh, like in order to get that, that roof into place, um, I kind of had to deassemble and reassemble. Luckily enough, I use PVA glue like it tells you to. Um, so def definitely don't want to do super glue because you're going to have to probably move some of the stuff around to get it in the right spot. Um, kind of the same thing with this, uh, the bigger one, but I already kind of knew that going in. So I kind of got all the, 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 the tops, the sides all ready to go and then kind of did it. Now I had some problems with the bigger one. Um, even though I was, I was doing it that way and I'm not sure if it's going to show up on this or not. But if you look inside on that seam, you can kind of see slightly. Let me see if I can turn it more into the light. But you see where there's like kind of like a clearish mound in the joint? That's actually uh, super glue. And what I did was I held it together with my fingers and it's actually in all the corners too. But what I ended up having to do was I held it all in place with my hands and I had like one section that wasn't uh, connected on. And I put the super glue in and gave it a quick zip kick just to, to get it in place to help the PVA glue. 
and that's the only time I used the super glue because I knew it was already in the right spot. It was where I needed it to be, and I just couldn't hold all this together long enough with my hand for the uh, PVA glue to, to set up. Now, I'm not using Elmer's glue or, you know, the normal white glue. I'm actually using the Hobby tack, uh, Tacky Glue, which is actually really a good adhesive glue. But just for that one spot, that, that was the only problem I've had. Um, now, I kind of stopped here not only because I ran out of time to build these for the, the, the board game I played, which was Company of Iron this weekend with my friends, but I also wanted to show you guys what this all looks like. So on the left hand side here, that's the actual templates. See the little, these pieces right here are separate. But each one of these are the actual templates of the, uh, of the cardstock. Or not really cardstock, um, foam board. I think it's what it's really made out of. And it basically shows you what's where out of those numbers. Now, this is pretty much what they look like. Obviously I got a lot of the pieces uh, missing. And there's the pieces I'm going to dress up the side of the building with. And if you look, you can kind of see the stuff dangling here. But that's a, a plastic uh, film that uh, is a, along the back of all of these, which helps keep everything nice and together, as you can see here. And some of it already has some detail on it. So it's just a matter of, do you want to leave that detail on there, or do you want to add more to it? I mean, that's up to you. Like, this right here is supposed to be the wood. So, it's a matter of, do I want to, oh, excuse me, leave that as is, or do I want the wood texture? And, like I said, that right there for the wood texture, that's the website. It tells you how to go ahead and, and, and do that. So, that way you can have that look on there. So, with that being said, these are pretty good. Uh, that's not quite flush. Uh, just because I'm a numpty, I didn't really do a super good job on getting this uh, inset part uh, flush as it should have been. But, uh, you know, it's not a huge deal. I'm not sure of the price points of being really good, because I don't didn't feel like doing the price conversion on it. But, I mean, look at that. That's, that's pretty good. That's pretty level. I mean, you can always hide stuff by putting some rubble up against the building. I'm gonna leave the, the texture on this one as is, uh, cause that's just be like plaster that came off the side of the building. Now this is from their fantasy set. Uh, I forget what the exact call of the fantasy set is, but here's their website. Okay. And uh, there's the URL. Go ahead and get that a little closer for you. Now, here is the main page. Now I have what's the pre, the plus pre-cut um, scenery, right? And I have the fanny design for Nemesis, which I guess is maybe a different uh, game. I'm not sure, but here's the set that I have. And that's 16E, uh, I, I think that's E, or I'm not sure what that symbol is actually supposed to represent. Um, and I couldn't get it to convert into US currency, but, um, this is kind of, you know, what they have for this particular set. Now, these are obstacles. And I actually think I have these obstacles uh, that I haven't really done anything with them yet. And I might have got it out of that set, or I might have purchased them off of a website. I don't remember. And I'd have to look to make sure that I'm not wrong. These look familiar, but, you know, uh, they might not be what I have. But these don't look bad. And they're really not hard to assemble, and they're light. Um... And they look like they paint up really well. So I have the pre-cut stuff. And they got stuff from Malifaux. They got Old Wild West, which could work for Malifaux as well in other games. You got Infinity, Medieval, which is just generic. You got Desert, uh, designed for uh, Carnival, which I think is another game. This is a, a Japanese samurai game, uh, sci-fi just general. And these, I think, are like a European War of War uh, scale set, 15 to 20 millimeter and 28. And these are looking really nice too. Uh, and they got like a little model there for scale. I don't think for uh, a lot of the games that most people who look at my channel are here for would be interested in the smaller scale of those. Now, even the non-colored ones, because these are the same like what I have here, 
These are really nice looking, and you could use them for other games other than what they're designed for. Uh, you know, they come with uh, terrain too, not just terrain, but like, you know, stuff you can put down, crates and stuff to kind of get that look and feel you want. Uh, some of these pages have more uh, things to them. The deserts look nice, the kind of the adobe look. The Infinity has some really nice stuff. These are very generic looking uh, buildings for the Infinity. Some containers, uh, more containers, probably a little bit smaller, curved building. Uh, then they have these hexagon sheets here, uh, which are one millimeter or two millimeter, and those look really nice too. I could probably click on it, it might give you a picture. But then they have platforms, uh, balconies, uh, crosswalks, and then I think this might be for more of the um, the um, the um, Middle Eastern faction um, here. That might be more of what it, it, it pertains for. Now you could probably use these for 40k and L's. Um, as far as I'm concerned, uh, you could probably use any of this stuff for a lot of the Warhammer uh, 40k buildings. I mean, some really nice looking stuff here. Uh, let's go to medieval because I'm sure some people will be interested in that. They look like medieval homes. Very pretty accurate from what I can tell. Uh, Carnival has some pretty nice looking stuff too. Nothing like, you know, it's revolutionary, but you know, it's got some stuff there. Uh, let's do the Japanese one here. These I really like. I kind of dig them even though I don't play any of the the Samurai games, but I know there's some people out there. It's kind of growing in uh, popularity. Uh, they got tombstones. They got, um, you know, like stuff you would find on side of the house or laying on the field for people working or, you know, normal home life, you know, country dwelling, walls to go around your castles and things like that. So really nice stuff. They got decals. Now, decals are only for fan, uh, Infinity at this time. Uh, you have uh, Tao, um, Toha, um, Toha uh, 2, which I think is it's a different set than the other one. You got ALF 2, Combined Army 2, Adriana, Nomads, Yujing, you know, Panyo, Shinnik. Uh, and then you have the first sets, Mercenaries. Uh, here's Combined again. It's got a little sample here on decal sizes. So these are really nice. Uh, if you don't want to freehand all that stuff, this is probably a good place to go get these decals. Uh, it looks like they are made from by themselves, or themselves, not by themselves. Um, so I would definitely, if you're looking at getting some, maybe you know, go into this website and take a look. Uh, load up there we go and so there's the decals obviously they put this here so if you try to make your own it's gonna be a little odd looking but you could probably get away with it if you really wanted some laterations and things like that too so that's that's pretty cool and then you got Siri uh, Siri now these are just sheets and I think these might be plastic sheets we got stone walls paving floors yeah, it, um, pavers, bricks, wood flooring, and I'll go ahead and I'll click on the sci floor, sci fi flooring. And if you look here, it actually gives you once it pulls up what a 40 mil and a 25 millimeter uh, base would look like uh, on these. So you could probably cut these out if this is what you wanted uh, for your base, so that way you could just do easy basing uh, with some pre cuts if you have a way to do it. And it kind of looks like not really triangles, but not too far off. That way you can get a better look at what that looks like. Uh, all right, 15 minutes. So there's nothing underneath the materials at this time. Assembly instructions, everything that's on this website, it has instructions on how to assemble it. They have tutorials, which uh, is just the movement tray, and they basically show you how to take this, and it looks like this, to make it look like that. And you know they show you how to offset so you get grooves in it, how to put the little slits for nail holes in there. How to get your wood grain in there. So that way when you finish it up, oops, I'm sorry. So that when you finish it up, you're, you're, uh, you're good to go. I'm trying to fly through this a little bit quick because it's taking a little bit longer than I wanted to. Now the colored stuff is different than the pre-cut. 
Okay, now this stuff here, this is uh, more money, but if you take a look here, you're getting all of this for that money, okay? Uh, you are saving money, and this stuff is already, you don't have to paint this. You just assemble it, put it together, and you can throw this on the table, and you're good to go, and it's going to look nice. So, and, you know, showing you these are the, you know, the box parts that you're going to be getting, from them. So if you got you and your friends want to get together, you want to get one of those sets, you can. Uh, I think the biggest one most of you guys are going to be really thrilled about getting is the Gothic Millennium. Now this is, for all intents and purposes, this is Warhammer 40k stuff right here. Um, I mean they even have a chaplain standing next to each piece to give you the actual size of each thing here. Now 23360 for uh, this cathedral here. And I'm gonna bring up the big picture for you. This thing looks nice. I mean, don't get me wrong, this this looks amazing. It's gonna just show you the, the boxes that this is made from. But as one thing that you can buy, you know, this is gonna, this, you know, you're not gonna have to put too much time and effort into this and it's going to look good on the table. So, you know, it's definitely something probably to look at. Like I said, I don't know the money conversions, so I'm not going to say that it's priced really well, uh, but it's something to definitely look at. And depending on how much money you spend, uh, you're going to get free shipping. Uh, I think that was on the main page. Yeah, free shipping. So it's $70 orders, gets you free shipping if you're in Europe. And then anywhere else in the world, 125 is all you got to hit. And obviously they accept uh, credit cards, bank wires, so that's pretty cool too. Uh, you know, they have the most popular things that are selling, which is the, the church, um, the armories, which are really nice looking too. Uh, I didn't take you through all the different sets, but you know, sushi corners. I mean, this they got some really nice looking stuff in on this website. So I definitely, you know, give this you know a thumbs up. Uh, I might eventually at one point, but not right now. Uh, or in the foreseeable future uh, at this point, I, I'm kind of having some problems. So I, I got to work through those types of things first before I could uh, feasibly go in and buy any of this stuff. But uh, I might, you know, just might actually come out and, and buy some of the stuff. So this, I, you know, I definitely, from this stuff here that I have, I, I definitely recommend this wasn't hard to put together. Um, even with a little bit of, you know, I think the directions could have been, maybe slightly done a little bit different and maybe you know they they did directions after they made and assembled this but i mean it's 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 really 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 cool it's really easy uh i did this stuff in like an hour and a half and it was just too late and i wanted to go to bed so i said the heck with it so before i hit 20 minutes i'm gonna go ahead and sign out now uh i got some more reviews coming up in a little bit um i'm gonna try to put out a, a video a week if i can uh, if not, I'll try to catch up. So when I can do videos, um, I'm hoping to get away from the cell phone. My computer actually, I was having problems with Windows 10, let me put it that way. And uh, it finally, I was having a thing where like it wouldn't do the update. It would get like 37% and it would just sit there and wouldn't update. So I'd have to stop the update and it would you know just use the computer until then and then my my webcam is a logitech pro 9000 or 900 whatever it is it's an older model uh the last update says it works for windows 8 and 7 but i was using it for windows 10 but i was having a lot of problems with it uh but once the computer just uh i'm actually looking for a job i lost my job uh just before christmas but when I was looking for a job, I had a bunch of websites up that, you know, I was filling out applications or I had filled out applications, you know, or I'm using that website to do send applications and look for places that were hiring, etc. And I went to go make a sandwich and I saw the, the screen flash. And I'm like, gosh, oh, son of a bitch, it reset uh, the computer to do an update because that's the one thing I can't stand about Windows 10 is it just does it. Uh, you can try only, you can only prolong it for so long and then it just automatically doesn't, won't let you stop it. Um... So that's what it ended up doing to me, and for whatever reason, instead of just getting stuck at the update point uh, on the upload or uh, the reboot of the computer, it kind of got past that. But then I couldn't see my screen. Like I could move my cursor or my my mouse, and I could see my cursor, and I'd see a spinning wheel. And I left it like that for a day, and I never got screen back. 
and I try to system restore, I put my old CD back in, and try to do a rebuild or a repair, and none of that worked. So I have scratched that, and I've gone back to Windows 7. I just wiped everything that was on my main hard drive out, and luckily enough, a lot of my stuff was on my slave hard drive. Uh, so I haven't lost too much, but I did lose some stuff that I'm not going to be able to get back. But I got that going, so... Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get that going. Uh, that should hopefully make the webcam work again and I can start doing some more videos. Alright, thank you and have a great day. Bye.